Welcome and thank you for joining me Alyssa Arundel for your June 2020 tarot card reading. If you haven't already and you'd like to check out your free three card tarot spread you can do so in the description box beneath this video. These are not generic readings, every outcome is written for the tense that it is made for. So you get real clear insights into your own situation absolutely for free and please I'd be honoured if you pressed the subscribe button and notification bell so that you get alerted every time Patrick and I drop a new video. But without further ado let's get into our reading for June 2020. Hello Taurus and thank you so much for joining me for your monthly tarot card reading. Let us have a look at what is going on in your present situation. Wow, okay. This is very much about things moving at a fast pace. Boom, boom, boom. Lots of changes. Um, sometimes this can be a bit hard for us to keep up with. Um, Taurus, I think that this month is going to be really important for you to hold on to your hat in some way. Um, there could be, you know, if you have been experiencing um, situations from the lockdown, there could be some of you that are going back into work and things are just going at high speed and it's difficult to get back into something. But it doesn't just have to represent your career. This could be things moving forwards in a creative sense or in a uh, relationship sense. So let's have a look at what's blocking you here. You've got the Knight of Cups as a blockage card. The Knight of Cups can represent somebody in our lives who is uh, romantic. This is quite a slow moving card to have um, as a messenger card. Our Knights represent messages and I think um, from a practical point of view, this could be that a message has been lost in translation or you're waiting for a letter or some kind of confirmation that seems to be taking ages to come. This could be blocking you. You want to just get on with it and this, this could be blocking you a bit. But just because it's slow it doesn't mean it won't get there. So a bit more patience, I'm sorry to say, Taurus. The card that is uh, your foundation card is the Three of Cups. This is a brilliant happy card. In ordinary circumstances, this would represent, you know, christenings, birthdays, weddings, um, but this might not be the case in the current climate. I think it's just representing friendships and close bonds, about checking in with the people that care about you, you checking in with them. It could be like explaining to people how you're feeling, if you're feeling overwhelmed or stressed. I think this is about opening up to the people around you because I think that they can offer a lot more support than perhaps you, you realize. Your past card here, is the Six of Swords. This can be nostalgia, thinking about your childhood, thinking about your past. Um, you know, sometimes when we're adults, we think about our past very differently um, because we have adult eyes on, you know, um, so our pasts can sometimes be happier, seem happier than they were because we've got our rose tinted glasses on or they can sometimes, uh, well, I'm not saying seem more traumatic but perhaps there are things from our past that we haven't quite uh, haven't quite dealt with but this card can also represent people from our past coming back into our lives and so because this is a past card it could be you get a phone call message something from a past lover a past friend and you might not quite not know how to deal with that like do you just let sleeping dogs lie or do you get back in touch um the rest of the spread will give us some indications. So woo, we have the lovers as your spiritual uh, crowning card. The lovers can mean love at its core. You know, it can mean that a new love interest comes into your being. Because this is a the card that's spiritually grounding, uh, crowning you. I feel like this could be a soulmate relationship or a twin flame relationship. Someone who you recognize straight away, again, on a soul level, could be someone from your past, but I don't, I'm not 100% sure that's going to be the same for everybody. Um, if it doesn't represent a, a love interest, then this card in um, when Tarot was first created was called Choice. 
who wasn't actually called the lovers. And so you may have a choice to make. It could be a choice between two lovers. It could be a choice between two occupations. Um, but I do feel you're going to have some decisions to make this month, Taurus. Again, this will be different from person to person. Your immediate future here is the five of pentacles. Is there something that's worrying you here, um, Taurus, on a, you know, financial level? I do apologize. Um, this could be that there is some kind of hole in your pocket in some way. Something isn't um, quite adding up. <laughs> this can be financially, obviously, but it can also mean something's not adding up in your mind. Like, is something not quite what it seems? There can be a tendency to feel lost with this card it can be negative self-talk. So it's just really important to, to, it sounds cliche, but try and keep some emphasis on positivity this month. I think, you know, your words really do have power and uh, I think that's going to be important for you to keep hold of this month. The card here that is um, your state of mind, you have the page of cups. So this is very much about feeling like lovey, very much about feeling um, <laughs> just kind of like in a space, like I don't know if you, if any of you have watched Harry Potter, but there's a character called Luna Lovegood and <laughs> she always reminds me of this card. It's kind of a bit quirky, a bit uh, flighty, um, but really, there's a lot of love and compassion at the core. And so maybe it is that you're feeling like you have to care for somebody this month and be very gentle around their feelings. This could mean putting your feelings to the side a little bit, um, which isn't always easy and not always fair, but it's commendable that you have the ability to do that, Taurus. Let's have a look at your outside influence. So your outside influ influence is the Three of Swords, but it's reversed. The Three of Swords can often represent loss in some way. Um, breakups, divorce, those things are all possible when this card appears, but it's an outside influence. So I feel it could be, and particularly because it's reversed, somebody in your life who's going through a difficult time again like you're having to be this page of cups you're having to be the caregiver the shoulder to to for somebody to lean on could be someone going through a tricky breakup um but again it's it's I, this is an outside thing it could be that your parents divorced when you were young uh when you were a child um, and that's playing on your mind because you have got the Six of uh, Swords card there in the past. So it could actually be that some of that stuff's coming up and maybe it surprised you a little bit uh, how there may still be resentments to deal with. Um, let's have a look at your hopes and fears for this month, Taurus. Well, well, we have the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles really does represent... Um, it's kind of the card of the masons, right? Because you've got the mason and then the two um, apprentices. It is a card of study. It's a card of learning. It's a card of teamwork. It's a card of working together. I feel like, you know, if there are any burdens, struggles, challenges, very much like the other three that you pulled, um, the three of cups, just reaching out for help and working with people to problem solve. It shouldn't all fall to you. So if there is this outside thing that's becoming a little bit burdensome, um, again, asking for help with it would not be a bad thing. Let's check out your outcome here. We have the two of wands as your outcome, Taurus. This is lovely, lovely, lovely card. The two of wands represents um, creativity, uh, business, innovation, um, working together, again, teamwork. It could be that you get into a business partnership with someone or the ideas of a business are coming. It's usually one other person or maybe it's one other company um, that you're working with. But I do think there's so much um, invention and uh, joy that is actually possible for you. But just have some self-love this month and if you are being that caregiver, if you are being the one that's 
holding everything together, it is so important to give back to yourself as well, Taurus. Thank you so much for joining me here this month. I really do appreciate you spending your time with me. If you would like to book a one-to-one -one session with me, I will leave that information in the description box. You can also order your digital tarot card reading, which is emailed directly to you. So if you want to check that out, also uh, prices are very affordable. I'll leave that in the description box too. But until we speak again the next time, um, I'm wishing you lots of peace and stay safe. Um, warm wishes, Alyssa. <laughs>